Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is going over the Pop Shell extension. What that is, is kind of a tiling window manager that you put on top of GNOME as an extension, which gives you a lot of the functionalities that you'd expect of a dedicated window manager. Now, I did a video a uh, couple days ago on something similar than this. It's an extension for KDE Plasma called Cronkite. So if you're running KDE Plasma, you go ahead and watch that video, but I know a lot of you guys that use GNOME, so we are going to be going over how to do a lot of those same things within no. Now I'm not going to really be talking about the installation process for Pop Shell. Uh, if you are running Pop OS, which I know a lot of you are, it's already installed. So it's just a matter of enabling it and using it. If you aren't running Pop OS, I'll have a link in the description, which will go over the installation steps. Now, once you do have it installed, you should see a little uh, icon right here, which looks like the uh, tiled windows. If you click on that, you have the option to tile windows. I'm going to disable that just for a quick sec so I can show you some of the options. Uh, you have some floating window exceptions, which essentially means that certain windows will ignore window tiling. This is really good for a lot of uh, applications that are smaller, such as uh, Spectacle. That's a screenshot utility. You might not want that to tile in. Things like that, it uh, basically ignores the tiling settings for specific windows. You have shortcuts, which we'll be going over in just a sec. Then you have the options to show window tiles, show active hint, which I have enabled, and the gaps settings. So just so you know, if I'm gonna go ahead and open up a couple different things here, without with it disabled anyways, you're not really gonna have it automatically tile. And I'll actually go ahead and turn off the active window hint. Essentially all that is is it puts a highlight around the window that is active, which is very useful because you're going to be wanting to switch between your active windows using your keyboard and all that instead of your mouse. So I'm also going to open up a text editor here and a terminal window. And I'm going to select this as my active window for now. And then when I go over here and I enable tile windows, you're going to see everything jump into a tiling layout. Now, if I go back over here and we can go ahead and open up our shortcuts. Now you see a couple here, you have the launcher, which is uh, super and the forward slash. So if I go ahead and go super forward slash, you see it has a little launcher here that then I could go ahead and select my active window using the arrow keys. So that's a really easy way to switch in between something like the file manager terminal or the uh, text editor. Just hit enter and now this is my active window. And I could just go the super forward slash again and jump over to my terminal and then begin doing work there. So once you get a hang of these keyboard shortcuts, it's really easy to jump around in between everything. And if I go back over here, you see some of the other shortcuts. You have the uh, navigate windows, which is super and the arrow keys. Uh, toggle tiling. So if I go uh, super and Y, it will disable the tiling. Super Y will enable tiling. And you can see this isn't really the layout we had before but that is one way to do it. I know that you can uh, edit that in the settings, which I'm gonna disable tiling real quick and close some of these out that I'm not using. So close without saving, close. And if I go over here and I go under the view all shortcuts, here you can see a list of everything that we can do. Um, it might be a little small on your end, but we can see a lot of it. Uh, you have your directional keys, which are your arrow keys or your gamer shortcuts, so the WSAD. Uh, navigate the application windows, so it'll go over everything you can do. You can also move, resize, and swap windows in this mode. For example, if you go shift over and down, or shift over the other way and up, it will increase and decrease your window size. Enter to apply changes and escape to cancel. So one thing we're going to do real quick is actually re-enable our window tiling and kind of show you some of this in action. So for example, let's select this and actually let's enable our active window hint so we can actually see which window is active. And you could also change the color too if you'd like to, for example, there's kind of a green theme going on here. This is Manjaro Gnome Edition. Uh, let's say I wanted it to follow along with this color scheme right here, select it. And now you can see that the active window is this, uh, this green color which blends in a lot more with the actual desktop environment that I'm currently using. Now, for example, let's go ahead and enter this adjustment mode just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And do this, you're going to hold down the uh, super key or windows key and then hit enter. You can see that this window is highlighted blue. That means any uh, changes I do will affect this window. 
uh, if I hold down shift and start messing with the arrow keys, you can see that it is decreasing, increasing the window size. And if it was a uh, tiled up and down, I could also move it up and down that way. I could also swap the window. So if I hit control and over, it will switch the uh, window I'm currently uh, adjusting. And then if I don't hold anything down and hit the uh, window keys, I could go ahead and actually swap the windows back and forth. And that's just an example of some of the uh, options that you can do here. And then when you're all done, you can hit enter and that will apply those changes. Once you get a hang of a lot of these um, shortcut keys and hot keys, it'll be a super fluid process. Um, you could change the window orientation, toggle floating, floating mode, toggle auto tile, stacking mode, which is when it all stacks right here. So you saw earlier, if I went Windows Y, it disables that. And let's open a uh, additional window here by going super, opening this up. And let's say we want to open up uh, a text editor. So let's open up text editor, super key and O, that would go ahead and kind of switch out the windows or as it says, the window orientation. If you scroll down, you do have a couple more options such as the toggle maximize, close window, uh, toggle stacking mode, and a couple of the other things that we mentioned. Uh, you also have the launcher shortcuts, so you know the activate launcher. You can scroll through the list using Control and J. When you're in that little launcher, you can use it to activate terminal commands, uh, do SH commands, and do a uh, calculate an equation. Now I closed out some of the windows real quick because I'm going to show you how to get to the uh, settings for the pop shell. All you need to do is go to extensions or tweaks depending on where it's at. For this, it's under extensions. You might need to go to tweaks and then go under the extensions tab. If you don't see that there, it is probably under extensions. So we go extensions just like this. And then when it opens up, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the pop shell right here. Go ahead and click on this little gear, which will bring you the settings. And this is kind of an example of what I was talking about of the uh, exceptions. So the floating window exceptions, little menu and little uh, menu toggle things like this won't tile in. That would just be kind of silly. So here you have some options such as show window titles. If you disable that, uh, it will get rid of these titles. You can snap to grid in floating mode. You have the smart gaps. You could go ahead and enable that. And then you have additional gap options here. Now that is not too many options, but it does give you a little bit of things to play around with. Like I said, you will find a lot of settings just right here up in your menu. And that about wraps that up. Like I said, if you're using Pop! OS, this is actually built in and it's really, really easy to go ahead and enable that. If you're interested in installing this, I will include a link in the description that will show you how to do that. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Full disclosure, in my opinion, this isn't as good as Cronkite or an actual dedicated window manager, but it is a great step, especially if you're somebody who uses both floating and wants to utilize some of the features of a tiling manager. This is a really good middle ground to kind of experience the best of both worlds. So other than that, please subscribe to this channel if you did enjoy the content. Like this video, if so, dislike it if that's how you feel. Uh, leave a comment saying just about anything you'd like, um, as long as it's moderately appropriate. Uh, have a great day, and goodbye.